Hey, back! Welcome back to WDW Gaming. And, uh, yeah, back so soon, so soon. Um, how about a fourth series? Three, four? Fourth, I promise you it's a fourth. <laughs> um, so I kind of wanted to finish some of the other series before doing this one. And then I got paid and I couldn't wait any longer. Um, and I was hoping to get it quicker, and that didn't happen either. But nothing ever seems to go as planned on this channel, and we've got a, we've got here so far. So, <laughs> um, without further ado, I present to you Final Fantasy VII: The Remake. I have been waiting for this since oh, it's got to be at least two, three, five years now, something like that. Um, so I'm really excited. We played the demo on this channel. That was about a month ago, something like that. And now the full game is out. Um, I've got it. It's ready to go. It's installed. Um, so I really, really enjoyed the demo, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what this has got to offer. Now, for part one of this, I am going to rush through it. I'm, st I'm not going to skip the cinematics. I'm going to try and get the best experience from it, just in case you didn't see the demo. Um, but there's going to be a lot in here that, like, that, that I've already seen that you've probably already seen. So, um, we'll jump in, we'll rattle through what was in the demo, and then we'll see, see what's to come, basically. So, let's do it. Okay guys, so here we are with Final Fantasy VII. Um, I've actually changed a few of the settings in OBS as well, so that horrible kind of lag that we were getting um, in Metro, uh, where even Metro isn't like that high a, a thing to, to run. Um, but I, it turns out it was to do with the settings because I'm running a, um, an AMD now and not an Intel. Um, so I've tweaked some of them and it does seem to be giving a slightly better picture and we seem to have lost the lag, which is fantastic so it's all about clarity at this month on this channel it's I, i've taken on the clarity channel uh, the clarity challenge uh this month and won so um so we're really sort of upping the game here and uh sort of doing a hell of a lot better um so um it's just camera angles i need to work on now because i feel like i'm talking to you without looking at you um but one thing at a time. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, guys, so I have waffled on for long enough. Um, let's jump in and let's do it. So. Okay, I would like. Default. Uh. Ooh, classic. Player control character uh, it will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. Okay. <coughs> I can't remember what I went with in the demo. I think I went with classic. Because um, the battle system's like hard enough to get used to as it is without adding anything else in the mix. So... Okay, let's just play with the volume just a little bit because everything else has been a tad quiet. So I'll just raise that up a little bit and just turn that down a touch. There we go, that should be a little bit better. Okay, so this is the bit that we saw last time, but like I said, I'm not going to skip um, any of these... Um, intros or anything i am just going to let them play out to get full experience for people who haven't seen the demo <coughs> i'm going to move my mic a bit closer though and make sure it doesn't fall off because for all the professionalism we've got on this channel falling mics would not be good You know, I said this last time, and I think the way that they've really ramped this up, and the way that they've done and brought it into the modern world. So you saw Midgar, you saw the streets of Midgar in Final Fantasy VII, but this is like the everyday stuff that we didn't see. Like, like the dogs rummaging through the bins, and the construction work being completed, and things like that. It's, it's almost like someone took that world and just threw a load of extra more like extra detail into it we saw people milling about and everything yeah but were they really doing anything or were they just walking around in a non-linear fashion in the world so but now you can really see and look there's that glow and there's so many things that it, in the last one in final fantasy 7 for the playstation that were so understated that now they've 
come into this really, really rich environment, um, the the impact is is so much better and so much harder. It's like when you see here. When I watched this on Final Fantasy VII on the on the ori the original version on the PlayStation, I didn't actually know that she was looking at a Mako pipe that was that was leaking. I thought that she was looking at like. I don't know, I thought it was like maybe pollen or something from the flowers. But it's gonna add such a it's gonna add an extra layer of detail to the story that we already know as well. Because there's all these little things that were there and we were just missing out on them for for years. And I think that's fantastic. It's a shame that not many um, YouTubers seem to have jumped on this, yeah. Uh, and I think it kind of scares people that it's like, the, the download for this, just bear in mind, is 90 gig. Um, so that's that's a lot of gameplay. We're talking like Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of level here. Um, so, and I think it scares a lot of people off. <coughs> I'm going to try and do these in slightly longer sessions this time as well. Because it's going to be a very long journey. But damn, am I determined to get to the end on this one. It took me years to complete the original. To actually sit and do the whole thing. This one, one go. We are, well not one go. That would be a fucking long ass video. But like, the first time I play this, I am getting all the way to the end. We are not leaving it and restarting it and coming back to it. We're doing this together. I feel the music there was perfect for my speech. <laughs> I timed that well. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> so for anyone who saw the sequel to Final Fantasy, which wasn't a game, which was a film, it was Advent Children. Um, they've modelled cloud very much on that cloud from Advent Children, which I would imagine they've done with Sephiroth as well. The really cool scene that I am looking forward to on this one is going to be when Sephiroth walks through those flames. That is like the defining scene of this game and to see it in this kind of quality is just going to be mind-blowing. <laughs> And once I've done this with you guys, I will go back and play it myself because I'll want to do it on. Because at the moment I'm doing this on my PC, so I can stream it out to you. So which means I am on the smallest monitor in the world. Um, as you can see behind me, well, you probably can't actually because I've cut it off the video. If you look closely on the full view when I go back to that, I actually have a 4K 50-inch TV behind me there, which I'm, which I'd love to play this on as well. Paul, <clears throat> who goes there? You're up. Okay, so square to attack, square to unleash an attack capable of it. Okay then. Oh, okay. With this mode active, you can simply. Oh, okay, cool. I don't have to do anything yet then. Um... You're coming with us, nice and easy. Don't think so. <sighs> Still gonna end up pressing the buttons. Oh wow, a trophy already. Huh. It's gonna be one of those games. <laughs> There's like a lot more, um, so in the demo there are a lot more collectibles than that this time, so it's going to really make you explore the world more as well. <laughs> Seriously didn't see them. Not very good soldiers, are you? The ATB gets filled as time passes. Uh, and by attacking with square, once the bar is full, your character can perform special actions, so... Okay, yeah, so like, Braver Slasher. Yeah, alright then, cool, got it. Move and we shoot. Go ahead. Um, you can expand ATP gauge charge, used to perform battle commands. Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna do before you. Enough of this. 
Um, so abilities. Braver. Yes! Boom! So that's like the limit break from the last games. When not in battle, you can check map, open menus, and if you go to cancer information, press options to open the menu, and touchpad to open the map. Okay, so. Okay, yep, fine. So, this is our map. Which I just thought I'd have a quick look at. And our menu. Okay. Save load system, blah, 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 blah. We start off at level 7. How did that happen? Okay. Um, okay. Got it. Let's go. Drop the weapon. You got this. Yeah, what he said. Damn straight, I've got there. Um, press R1 to guard or circle to evade. Okay. You're coming with us. Can't get around it. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, and it collects stuff automatically, so I don't have to worry about that. Useful. And triangle to open chests. Okay. I would never have guessed that when it says hold, I need to hold the button down. But it's Final Fantasy, I'm not going to pick on it. Although, to be fair, this game has been several years in development, so if there is literally anything wrong with it, <laughs> I am going to point it out. <coughs> Okay. Can we pick that up? Oh, we did pick it up. Boxes. <laughs> so you too. Soldier boy steal. Is he one of us now? He's got balls. This. Uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud, Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. And I said this in the demo. He's a professional, right? Unlike the rest of us. You can't name the characters anymore. Which I'm a little bit sad about. Because this is a one time gig. We've all when it's done, done that. Done. Where we've done our own playthrough. You name the main character after yourself, and then the other sub characters after your friends. Then you have your friends round and you act out all the voices because there was no voice acting back then, remember? And uh, <laughs> we've all done it. And then we've all done the other playthrough where we've called like Cloud Shithead and Barrett Mr. T and <laughs> or Mr. Tithead. And I can't do that anymore. It's a little bit sad, but never mind. Is there anything around it? Can I talk to you, maybe? You'll keep us safe, right, Cloud? All the characters have got so much more personality as well. Like, it's not just the graphics that are more 3D, it's the characters as well, because. All of these three here were very, very nondescript in the original game. They had like one or two lines. They had they all looked quite similar. Um, it was only like Cloud and Barrett that had the real definition of character because they were powering forward in the rest of the game. But this time, they've actually given them a bit of personality, which is nice because we all know, without giving away too much spoilers, we all know how long they're gonna last. <laughs> Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. Huh? Nah. You're as rude as ever then, Cloud. Which? Uh. Okay, these are gonna be long ass playthrough, guys, and I can't do this without vaping. Um, you're lucky I can do it without smoking. <laughs> it be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. Damn right, I'm worth the money. I love how they've kept the original music. I was so worried they'd change the music.
Okay. Oh boy. Guess you're first. I always thought these were cats and not dogs as well. Because they don't look like dogs, they look like cats. And I've got to admit, I didn't actually... When I was going through and attacking the the characters and everything in... Um, do you know what? I need to turn this down because I can't hear myself think. But um, in the actual... When I was doing the battles in the game and stuff, um, playing, it, playing the original, I actually didn't... Um, like read the text much for what the enemies actually were so like as far as i was concerned the big thing the big robot thing that attacked cinnamon was a crab you know the guard dog was actually a guard cat and was a panther with a big long tail but turns out not i'm gonna learn so much more <laughs> and now it's too quiet thank god for inline volume Okay, so if it, I mean, if it seems like I'm rushing through this, guys, remember, I do know where everything is because I did the demo. Um, and I don't, you know, want to sort of just release the same content out twice. So I'm going to try and rush through this. And I might try and edit out some of the bits where I'm just running around as well. And just, like, try and break it down into the bigger points. And then we'll go smack into the game. <clears throat> this way. Very much like to get through Not the hole so too. We've got company. I'll do it, shall I? What was Barrett here for then? Job's a job. The camera work on this is brilliant. To it. So like when you're going through the battle mode and you switch targets, the camera is really, really reactive. It's like you switch, you press the button, and then the camera just, it's there. Um, don't always get that kind of reactivity with these games, so bravo Square Enix, bravo. It does kind of make sense now where they took so long getting this developed, because they, so far, especially from what I played in the demo, it looks like they got it right. And this was something, this was a game that's loved by so many people. It it had to be right. <coughs> and not just rushed. Let's go. Especially since they're not going to change the story. Which I don't want them to. I don't want them to go messing with the story. The story's still one of the best that Square Enix have ever done. And bear in mind, Square Enix are responsible for things like Tomb Raider, like the modern day Tomb Raiders. You know, which are really good story crafting as well. And like Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2 and all those kind of games as well. So... Thanks for keeping the door for me, guys. Where are we going? We're going this way. Nope, you're staying there. We're going this way. <laughs> I say I'll rattle through it because I remember everything from the demo. I've slept since then. <laughs> Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above my When I was in Shinra, in the good old days, Ain't when graphics me, were you? triangles. Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little dog? <laughs> such a dick, so Barrett. Much. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Fine, Tra <laughs> I'll, I'll just go have a beer in bar then, shall I? <laughs> I don't really want to talk to you. I feel that was a productive conversation. In three, two, <laughs> damn, I'm good. Who's there? I wonder if that extra character you can get. 
Is it Sid? I wonder if he's still going to be locked in the safe in that mansion later down the line. It's over. That's my line. Ha! Ah! Boom! <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. So he moves more slow, but yeah, I remember this. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Makes you feel like such a boss. <laughs> this is good fun. Good fun. <coughs> Are you opening the door now? Can I talk to you? Simmer down, hot shot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Huh. Then we're good. Talk to you any day. I talk to your th new 3D <laughs> ass any day. Is it me or is Jesse hot now? Me. Jeez. <laughs> she wasn't hot before. <laughs> she was just a big blob of pixels. Does anyone else think she looks a little bit like a young Lara Croft? Like, next time she's looking at the camera, see if you can see it. Because I can- I think I can see it. Yeah, we all know who you look like. Security is only gonna get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. When did I make the first mistake? Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? See, she doesn't sound like um, Alice Vikander, who plays um, Lara Croft in Tomb Raider, but she does look like her. But then again, so does Tifa as well, from what I've seen. So, you know Tifa, right? It's she does, she's got really that like kind business, of like... Are you guys close? She's got that kind of like face. I tell you what though, like when, when I was younger, like before I came out, I had such a crush on Cloud. And this wasn't in the demo. Hang on. New footage. New footage. Hi. Oh, so this is Nibelheim then. Are you ignoring me? No, I'm just. Oh. Tifa and I. They cut that out the demo. Shit. I need to actually pay attention then. appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We so this was in the demo, but wasn't in the original game. They belong to the same group that made <coughs> an attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> so if any of you are like sitting there thinking, you know, oh, well, I won't play it because I've already played it on the PS1 like, years ago. Clearly, this is definitely going to be worth it. Although you need to watch the stream first. No, Barrett, why don't you tell us? I know, Jesse. I know. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me. He would make a good streamer. And pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain. I know you can. You really hear that? You. I know you can. Only you can Get stop out. forest fires. <laughs> Say that again. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save mm -hmm. the screaming for later. He's so cool and calm and collected. Our lives are on the line now. <laughs> you listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. 
There are some places a sword just can't reach. Like up there, it's butt. To get the stick just that someone put up there. For me, would you? <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Sassy cloud. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Boom. Really? Uh, no. Keep forgetting that I can move whilst I'm firing. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, okay. Ah, no! I should probably stand over here. Where they both can't get me. Boom! Oh, is that getting me as well? You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. Okay. Where are they? And this is why I didn't like the battle system in like some of the more modern Final Fantasies, but it seems to have been done quite well in this game. You kind of lose track of where everything is, but the they've really uh, tweaked the issues with the camera, which is making it so much better. <coughs> I think that's all of them. Yep, let's move on. Done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers, then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. So, yeah, I'm. Hold R2 to dash. Okay. Um, so. Okay, got it. So yeah, I mean, if I'm a little bit more quiet during this, guys, it's because this game is like a real fan thing for me, um, and I don't want to miss anything. Uh, but I didn't like want you guys to miss it either. I just thought it'd be something that'd be really good to share and to stream out. Um, I did consider playing this through, good, like without streaming it out, <laughs> um, because you know, it's gonna be emotional in some ways personal. You know, this is one of those games that like when I was going through shit in school, I'd sit and come back to and it'd make me feel better. And um but different times and everything and it's always good to have someone to share a good story with. So Is there only one? Yeah, there's one row here, so I just need to wait until they've double flashed. Ooh, triple flash. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, so three, one, two, three. There we go. Did a nice job. I walked into it the first time, love. Four this time, maybe. One, two, three. Four. Oh, five. Shit. Okay. Did it. <laughs> it's a bit hairy, but we did it. Looks like the start of the game is like a good a good time to like farm. Here we go. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. 
If we rush in, we die. Is that right? Uh, we need to hit it with magic. Oh, okay. Give us an opening. Let's do it then. <clears throat> yep, we got that. Hey, it's not moving. Let's get it down. Give it all you've got. Staggered. Yes. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. And braver. <laughs> Boom. The, the thing of being able to switch between the modes is really good. Um, gives you a good amount of control over the battle. I think a lot of people complain, so when they went away from the turn-based system, it really sort of, it's one of those split the nation kind of things because some people... Oh, shut up, Barrett. And technically, he is. But I won't give too much away. <laughs> um, but yeah, when the when the turn-based system went away and went into this new kind of combat mode, it kind of one of those split the nation kind of things because it. Um, some people really like the turn-based system. Personally, I like the turn-based system. It's very linear. I like anything that's linear. I don't like all this open world stuff in any game nowadays. Um, I'd much prefer, uh, you know, someone to tell me where to go, what to do. Um, so by taking that away and making me think about other stuff as well was just... It was too much for my poor little brain to handle. Um, but the, being able to switch to classics are nice. A nice alternative if you don't really want to have to think too much about the battle scene. You want to just concentrate on what's going on in the story and get through the battles pretty quickly. Uh, which is what I will do for this stream. Because you don't want to see me take on like a massive battle. Unless it's like obviously the one at the end. <laughs> because that's an epic battle. Some people actually sat and did that battle for like several hours I think. On the original version. So God knows how long it's going to be on this one. But um... Yeah, it also means that like you guys get to see more of the story and more of the content as opposed to just watching me hit things with a very big sword. Why, thank you. <laughs> I'd rather blow your mind. <laughs> okay, enough. It's not an 18 plus stream, Leanne. You don't want to make it an 18 plus stream. Behave. fluidity of the combat though I, and it, I don't know because the um, the demo was just like a beta and the fluidity really seems to have improved so I don't know if people have like fed that back <laughs> so romantic <laughs> Oh, so I can actually get items whilst I'm in battle now. That's useful to know. Get ready. Oh, hang on. Am I still? Yeah, I am. Get out of it. Hey, did you see me in action? Must have missed it. <laughs> <coughs> I love Cloud's attitude in this one. He had attitude in the other game, but the the voice acting's brilliant the way it conveys it. Plus, how do you find decent enough voice actors for this game to live up to a game that previously had no voice? You know, it's like Tomb Raider had had a similar challenge. It's like, where do we find our Lara Croft to be as good as the one that was in the PS1 game? But with this, you're adding a voice to a voiceless character where before the developers were conveying all that um, 
like through through story and through written dialogue as opposed to actual voice acting now they can convey so much more so where seriously where do you find the right people for that and not only do you have to find the right people for english which is probably this game's predominant language apart from maybe japanese but you also have to find like the japanese voice actors and then the you know the i don't know the polish and the chinese the mandarin and everything else it's a massive task that they've undertook taking all of this on. See now before I actually complained that we didn't get the flashback here that we got last time. Maybe they cut it out the demo right. and we might get it Let's here. See if little stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. <laughs> Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the <laughs> damn job! He gets so offended so easily. Why do I have to do everything around here? So we saw that in the demo. What's wrong? And we know the obvious significance hmm? behind that. Hmm? If we played the original. I'm fine. What about the timer? You're calm, Merc. Now last time I set it for 30 and I had plenty of time left. So, just to spice things up for this video. 20 minutes. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Maybe I'll get a trophy for it too. You double crossing! Like that was me. Heads up. What is Assuming just makes an ass out of you. Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? Jesus Christ. Armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Okie dokie. <laughs> Seriously, stop targeting me. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, you've only got fire. Uh, okay. Yep. Get it done. Oh, are you kidding me? Right, okay. Need to get the bar up. Can we do it yet? Yes, we can. Yeah, I'm doing it now! Field generator, let's try doing that. It didn't work. Okay. Bring it home. Bounce right off. Nice try, uh, Frontal assault's no good. Okay, let's try that. Head on attacks won't cut it. Let's try here. No. I can't remember how I did this before. No good. There. Got it! Okay. So... Don't just stand there. Be out there. Field generator. Now, That's better! a real new spin on this battle as well. Um, the fact that like you have to jump around and do this sort of stuff. It 
kind of forces you to jump between the characters, whereas before you could sit back, you could level one character up and get through the game with most of that character, but now you have to really think about switching it up. Because you can't get through the battle without it. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Um... Oh, okay, so we're taking cover. You turn a tail on me, Mark. Nope. Trying to get into cover. Shoot. Okay. Now get in there. And do that. Do, 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 do. Oh no. Oh no, don't you don't. Can I hit it from here? Um, maybe I can... No, it's got a field again. Shit. No. Braver. Uh, not convinced that's going to do too much, but... good for health, it's all good. Heads up, tail I see it. Then take cover already. Whew. That was close. Strike now before it fires again. It's on you. Okay. Very disorientating, but it's it's okay, we got this. We got this. I remember this battle taking quite so long last time. <coughs> Maybe that's why I had so much time, like time left on the demo as well. Taking damage and staggering. It. Okay, when your gauge is full, you can use limit breaks. Ah, so the limit. Oh, so brave is not a limit break. Okay. Ah! Oh, boom. Okay, let's take out the. Can we take out the Sentinel? Should we try that? <coughs> Could be a waste, but we'll see. Ah, it's not a waste. Sweet! I actually don't have much to go. There we go. See, last time I took out the legs and everything as well, but I don't have to this time. <laughs> And we're off! Got no choice now, guys. We're doing this. <laughs> so pretty. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Really do. We should be covering our way out. Go, go, go! I don't think Cloud runs out of stammer either, which is useful. It's got the same clock as well. The clock looked identical to that in the actual game. Although, I think you had like five minutes to get out the reactor last time. Whereas now we get 20. In theory, it should be piece of piss. <coughs> we should do this quite comfortably, she says. Or so goes the theory. Good catch.
we do this quickly? Yes. You okay? Oh, cool jump cloud. Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? <laughs> that would so break your leg. You would not be standing after that fell on you. Hey, we'll link up over there. Look after Jesse. Hey, what you mean the highest place in the room? Thanks, Barrett. Probably. I think I can... ah! That was useful. Um, hopefully, I can't fall off the edge. Yeah, alright then. Just give me a min. You've got 18 minutes, girl. Stop panicking. <laughs> I got this. I did this in the demo. I know we're good. Way, just shut up. <laughs> there it. I've got you covered. Find us a way out of here. But then, don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. X, Soldier Boy. I thought he was an ex and he wasn't actually still in soldier. Cool. Five seconds is all we need. Nah. Not even that. Come on then, keep up. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Kill it. That's that. was easy. I'll do. Sure we got all the boxes on the way down, didn't we? So it's just run like hell for leather. Really? Lasers are off, which is useful. Last thing we need is more lasers. gonna get harder dude. Ooh, box is regenerated, okay. We've still got time, we've got 16 minutes, it's all good. Where are we going? We came from there, we're going this way. Whoa! Get it! Okay, this way. Don't screw this up. Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't press that, did I? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to run, that's why. <laughs> there we go. I love this Punisher mode. Okay. Boom. And down. <laughs> that is the best damn Easter egg I have seen in any game for a long time. Bravo, Square Enix. Fucking well done.
Yeah, we did it. Sir. <laughs> this is a new story canon as well. The bomb actually went off in the original. But in the um but in this one, it looks like Shinra dis destroyed the plant. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> patience, dude, patience. Seriously, how much would you have to work out to become that? buff and have abs that he has. That's like some Arnold Schwarzenegger shit that he has going on there. Boxes? Boxes? Anything? Chests? No? Yeah, you say that, but we probably do. Can you walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be oh good, because you shouldn't be able to! Very unrealistic. <laughs> She'd have lost her leg by now. Okay, that was pretty cool. Damn straight. All right, come on. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the demo. So anything we go into now is completely uncharted territory. So the reason there's a um, slight jump there and the mic went funny <laughs> um, is because I actually got a notification saying the game wasn't downloaded yet and I had to stop and I didn't want to just stop at the demo. Um, so we're going to carry on, we're going to do one more chapter in this video because I want to give you some new content and just not just do the same thing over and over again. Uh, so we'll go from there. <laughs> It's also why the lighting's changed, because it's now gone from day to night, also I've waited for it to download. So... This must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. It's a very dramatic. Right It'd be just down there. <laughs> Where I'm dabbing. <laughs> oh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. So this is kind of like, so this is kind of new. Um, this was like in a, in the original game, this was literally just like an alleyway, I think. Unless they go down to the sewer. Because they might go down to the sewer and then come up into the train graveyard, maybe. Without giving too much away. Keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? Okay. The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, you can figure that out later. No, it was Shinra destroying the plant. You can refuel at the base. Plot twist. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick me up. Oh. Okie dokie. So this is all new territory now. Um, look at the crate. So yeah, this is all new territory. We're past the demo. Um, so this is all completely new to me as well. Um, I did a little bit of reading up whilst I was gone. That's about as good a place as any. And actually discovered something very, very interesting. So this is... I thought the whole game was done in one part. It's not. It's actually going to be done in three. That is all I'm going to say on the matter. Um, one, because I'm not sure about the rest. And two, if 
what I've read is correct and I have understood it properly. It is a massive, massive spoiler. So... All I can say is, at the end of part one of this, just be prepared for a little bit of a shock. She's good to go. What is it with you guys and blowing everything up? Is everything not damaged enough around here? I mean, some of the dialogue's a little bit cheesy, um, but it was cheesy back then. And if they didn't use the same of it, it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. So you know. Ooh, Shinra music. Whoa. Yes, you did that. And I said this in the demo. No you get no real feel of just the, of the damage they cause. Now, obviously, they've added in the extra thing of uh, Shinra doing a load of damage and everything, but I mean, everything was pretty, pretty, pretty fucked up back then as well. This was just the first <coughs> City won't be safe if you keep blowing the damn things up. Those are cool shades. Just like the planet. But it's okay, because I'm here for you to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Yeah. Whatever your problem, I got you. That's probably the first time in this game that he just hasn't been a douchebag. That's relatively nice for him. That's easy enough. We get our asses home. Yeah. Not like home is the place where everybody is stuck right now. Okay, so. What's around here? Is there boxes or anything down here? No. Okay. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it. Later okay. Then. So this is going to be where they start locking the train car down, I presume. Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it <laughs> once we're back at base. Your home is not my home. Guess I'm going with you, though. I don't need to tell you what this is. Materia. Of course not. It's healing materia. You can have it for saving my life. Just do it. It's very sweet of you. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Cloud, dude, this girl is seriously coming on to you. Reciprocate. You can't rely on love. Words to live by. She does look like Lara. Thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay. Just in case it's different, we will do the tutorial. You can set materia to weapons and armor through materia and equipment. Okay. So it's very similar to the old system. Yeah. Pretty much the same, but okay. And I appreciate it, he doesn't. 
deserves the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Okay, so we've got a cure now. Um, let's have a quick look around. I don't want to miss anything. Wow. It's crazy. Look at this. want to like soak it all in. There is literally people dying in the streets. We did a bad thing. Before at the end of the first game like when you blow up the reactors you're like yeah! Hell yeah I did it I got out in time and you don't see any of this fallout and now it's just throwing it right in your face. Who indeed. Um. Look up. Not that way. <laughs> look up where, dude? This could collapse at any moment. Oh, okay. You'll have to use those stairs. Okay. Oh, can we talk to this dude? That That is the most unuseful conversation I've ever had with anyone in the game. The stairs are right there. I was heading to the stairs when you stopped me. Okay. I'm surprised the trains are still running considering the station looks half blown up. Um, carefully does it. Ooh. This way I take it then. Ooh, not good. Clever! It actually put the icon on like it was going to make me jump and then it just crumbled into nothing. It's it's that attention to detail in a game that just makes it ten times better. So I can go down there or down there. I don't think there's anything down there. Can we get through here? I don't think we can. Oh god. Okay. We'll go around this way then. Surprisingly. Whoa! This is very reminiscent of Final Fantasy X. When the city's all coming apart during the Blitzball game. Shit me. Ooh. Yeah, this is like a call back to his hometown. Are we going to get the scene early? Oh my god, we are! Ah! That's such a fangirl moment. Oh my god, it looks spectacular. Ah! Ah! Hello? You're not meant to show up this early. Are you actually there? How? It couldn't be. Ha! Huh. But then. Okay. You do not show up this early. What's going on? Okay, so I'm actually going to stop to explain this so that you can skip it if you want to. Spoiler for the first game, and potential spoiler for this game, although now I don't know where it's going to go. Um, Cloud isn't actually who he thinks he is. His um, He had his memory enhanced by a soldier friend that he had who was dying and all of his memories and everything was were put into cloud and uh, I forget the guy's name but that's how he's got the memory of meeting Sephiroth in the first place it wasn't him that met him it was actually his friend um, 
who who died whilst he was at his side because this guy's actually not seen much action in battle so obviously this is not this guy's memories this is clearly happening to cloud so but he did see sephiroth so when his town so it, it's um he did grow up in nebelheim but so did his friend as well because they both joined soldiers together and uh, it was i think it was cloud that saw sephiroth walking through the fire and that's the only actual memory that he has of sephiroth it's a bit confusing but Either way, Sephiroth should not be here yet. <laughs> so it's very, very interesting that he is. It looks like they are going to switch the story up. God, controller's vibrating like a bastard. This is weird. You're no way. Real. You're dead. Are you real? I am. Oh, <gasps> what a voice. My own. Oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. Good voice acting. It was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can huh. you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver Ooh. of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. And never return. You have to live. <laughs> never mind. <clears throat> good, Cloud. Very good. So is he in his head? Hold on to that hatred. Looks like he could be. I could be getting excited over not much here. And obviously he's going to turn up at some point, but he shouldn't be in it this early. That is a really good way of putting him in this early, though. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Um, okay. So we're taking a detour. Um, so yeah. <coughs> that was a bit weird. Um... If, like I said, I mean, I do know where part one cuts off now I've done my research. And it's a good way of getting him in because, in theory, if it cuts off where it does, we should, in theory, only have about five or ten minutes of Sephiroth. So it's a good way of of uh, cutting him into the main plot a little bit earlier. Just kind of exploring around and just seeing if there's anything. Can't actually smash anything at the moment, so. But I'm wondering if there is anything around. Or maybe this is the main way, I don't know. No, I think we probably are going the right way. Um, what a mess. This is an alert from the 
So we're going like that way, but let's have a look. Oh, this is making me feel fucking awful. Oh, so this is clearly so a detour. Yeah, we've had to go over, up and over the rubble then. <laughs> Kind of wish I'd explored the other way now. Never mind. I'm not sure if this is the way to go. Uh, I think it might be that way, but. Don't let the intruder escape. Security's everywhere. Ooh. I want that materia though. Must be close. Okay. Is it worth fighting them, guys? Am I gonna die? Okay, so for some reason I lost the connection to the camera there. Um, which is what happens when you do these things over Wi-Fi. Um, probably because I'm doing both at the same time. Need to find a way around that, really. Um, okay, so yes, uh, we, we're deciding whether it's worth it to go and get this materia. Let's see if we can... To make it harder for yourself. Okay, so no, not at the moment then. Right, onward to the station then. Oh, Aerith. Ooh, that's new. Oh, he's back. Too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? A flower peddler. She was called Flower Girl before. Are you okay? Now she's a flower peddler. I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Oh, she's so sweet. A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just Aww. Like she's so ditzy, but she's so adorable at the same time. Oh, let's have to pay her for it. Cause she oh. is sweet. Well, that depends on the customer. And she is coming on to me. It's on the house. Oh. She's so adorable. Oh, that's a nice subtle nod, actually. Dangerous things. Because technically they have been reunited because it's a remake. Cute. Cute little Easter egg. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. Promise. This is where the guards burst in, isn't it, and start to attack hey, me. Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell. <laughs> Help me! Oh, and we can see them. What the fuck are they? They look like dementors. Yeah, we're all asking ourselves the same question. See, now this is in the game with the soldiers, but not... What are those things? Do they even know they're there? Are you blind? You know, you're right. Wait. Nice meeting you. And you. Take your demons with you. He looks so adorable with his flower. <laughs> How can you look badass with a flower on your chest, man? 
<laughs> and off we go. So one of my camera batteries doesn't seem to be handling this quite so well, so put another one in and hopefully I shouldn't be getting this problem. So we haven't missed much, just defeated the soldiers. Luckily I did notice the camera went off because the PlayStation also disconnected at the same time. So I'm having a nightmare getting through this stream. Like I keep saying, I need a power supply really for the um, for the camera. That bastard couldn't have gotten far. Oh, brilliant! So where do I have to go? Up here, maybe. Yeah, that's the way. Okay. Oh, hello. Prick! Thought I got you. Okay. Um, we're moving away from it there, so it's down this way. Follow the soldiers, that's usually the, uh, the best thing to do. That's better. Boom. Okay. Oh, crates. Chest. Oh, a Moogle medal. I'm not entirely sure what a Moogle medal is. Oh, have I gone the wrong way? Oh, no. No, I have gone the wrong way. That was pointless. I got a Moogle medal though, I'm not quite sure what that is. This way it is then. Bum, 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 bum. There's no point in me like wasting any extra shit on these guys. Like magic or anything. Just get get through it quick. Ooh, level up. What? Oh. Really? Okay. I feel certain that I do not like this. Oh, is that a helicopter? Shit. Okay. Time to run. Oh. Okay. Stagger these guys because they're quite quick. Really? There's more? Where? Ah, there. That was a little disorientating. Definitely don't want to be wasting grenades on these guys. Um. Oh, so we're going round again still. Okay. Oh, okay. Climb to the roof. Ah, ladder there. So is there anything down here? actually relatively easy to miss when you're looking for an objective. Oh, come on! At least let me get up the ladder! I'm not quite sure what happened there. Be advised! Target approaching residential area! Steel hole 
And down. Where are you? Nowhere I can get you. Okay. All of this shit would be so useful, but I didn't stop and equip it yet. Just let everything cool down a bit. This way, then. Oh, a shield. Okay. Interesting. Can we get him with that? No. Uh, time to start using this. That'll do. Nothing to it. Oh, really? Jesus wept, there's more. Okay, oh, boxes. He's so cocky. <laughs> Why are they only chasing me? There's like God knows how many other people that did this. Why are you coming after just me? Oh, okay. <laughs> You were in my way of the boxes! This way. Grenadier. Get your ass back here! Oh, that's just fucking marvellous. Uh, let's try this. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh no! Okay. Let's get you first. Oh come on! This sucks, man. Okay. Braver worked quite well last time. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah. Just get it out of their way. Build the bar up with you. Braver. Yep. Oh, both of you. Okay, that works. Carry on this way. Anything up there? No. Oh, come on. Nope. Okay. That should build some crap up. Oh, get away from me. Uh, abilities. Braver. You. That'll do. Nothing to it. Uh, boxes. Yes. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Boxes. Always useful to have extra shit. There's one thing this game teaches you: is pick everything up. <laughs> The boxes actually take damage. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Do I have to fight all them? Oh, my God, I do. Okay.
braver on you. Ooh, level up already. Level 10. Take you out. Oh my god, there's two of you now? The Huntsman! Who are you? Okay. Shit. Um. You're the closest. Sorry, dude. But you're getting it. God damn it. I agree. Enough. <laughs> okay, something's got to do damage to you. Oh, no! See how little that took off? Okay. Time to bring out the big guns. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, it's building up over time. Isn't it? Okay, uh, yeah. Spells. Fire. Burn, bitch! Ah, now I can get you. Spells, fire, burn. And take your health down. There we go! Dude! Really? Those are Mako eyes. Say it. Oh, you're not gonna say it! <coughs> Bye! Happy trails. Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Hell yeah. You think he's a keeper? If I remember rightly, I don't think Barrett ever particularly grows to like me. He just tolerates me. Yeah. What the hell you been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <laughs> do you feel undermined? You should do. Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, for this to be something new, came and went like the wind. they're making far too big a deal of this. Invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic mm. hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've Sister got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold it. Okay. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. This is going to be like where we get the security on the train car, then. I think we deal with the first one okay, and then it's the second one that goes to shit. It's going to be interesting to see if they make us blow up the second reactor, actually, because the, that would be a massive chunk of this part, and I don't know, there's about, there's about, from what I've read, there's about 60 to 80 hours worth of gameplay if you were to go platinum on there. Um, yes, I have got a sec. I'm just trying to, I would love to talk to you, but, ah, there we go. 
holding up pretty well, huh? Even now, why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Over sector eight? I'm a soldier. Wow, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look why forward to. Why don't you learn to, to take a hint, or buddy? Maybe not. <laughs> you see, my daughter now lives in. Is that all you want me for? So this is a news report. Little help, Cloud, please. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. There's a lot that's different about this. Something bigger is going on here. I'm sure of it. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. I'm really intrigued, actually. We're really deviating from, like, the norm now. Um... And they're making a big deal of those ghost things. This conversation was in the original, I think. Yet to announce but with like nondescript NPCs. Really? Yeah. Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Nah. Thing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Nah. <laughs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Subtle Barrett. Just Subtle. Who do you think you are? A law abiding concerned citizen. <laughs> ah, biting. Really? Mm. Oh, shh. Oh, that's <laughs> In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. He's such a, a peacock. The bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. Hmm. That is the Shinra Creed. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Calm down. It's only a commercial. You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. It's like this dude's just taking a nap. <laughs> Can we go in there? Is it just no? It's just the lights, isn't it? Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it's oh, so this is where we get to see where the train's going and everything. I have to tell you people, I'm not. There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. Complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an IV checkpoint shortly. This it's an interesting message, actually, because the when this was originally released, there was nowhere near as much concern as there is now about energy and recycling and stuff, so it was quite a new message back then. And um, now it's, you know, become a lot more relevant, really. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Keep my energy levels up. It's hard work being a terrorist. I'll have a little bit of Jesse. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. That's what she said. Take a good look. It's because of that <coughs> in the sky. 
that people down there got to struggle to survive. Never heard make it described as a pizza in the sky. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. That's what's always worked for me. Well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Poignant. Very poignant. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. <laughs> and with that, guys, I am going to leave it there. Okay, guys, so we've managed to get out of the city. Um... So we've got a little bit further in the demo, despite several technical issues. Um, so it looks like one battery seems to do better on my camera than the other, so it's just a case of trying to remember which is which. Um, rest assured, that will all be sorted for the next uh, video. Um, so guys, I don't quite know now we're doing four series how we're going to balance all this out. Um, we're still plugging away at Metro. I think we're about 50% of the way through that, something like that. Um, we've got Thief, which we've just started. Jurassic World Evolution to drop in when things get a little bit samey. This I want to get through. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I think this is fantastic. I love the little extra twists and turns that are in there that are making the story different. There's clearly something going on with those Dementor things. There is a theory that I've read, um, and I don't know how true it is or it isn't. Um, so it will give it away if I say what it is, but I think I may have figured it out in my own head, but I don't want to give anything away. Um, but I do have my own theories, which I will decide if I'm going to discuss on the next stream, because I don't know if I want to give it away or not. Um, overall, I think it's a fantastic game. I think it's a fantastic effort. I haven't really seen anything wrong yet. Um, I suppose the only... If I was going to have a criticism, the only criticism would be a little bit with the combat system. Sometimes it's a little bit um, disorientating, trying to figure out which tax to use in which scenario. You don't have the stop and think time that you had it's just it's just bang 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 whereas before it was more um it was more of a strategical rpg before whereas now if enemies have any uh, weaknesses or anything it's just shouting it out to you you're not having to go through and work it out and because there used to be a materia called what was it called it was called search or scan or something like that. i think it was called scan and um that would basically give you all your information, tell you like weaknesses, how much HP they've got left now, all that's on the screen for you to see anyway. So there's less of a tactical element and more of a cut and slash, run and gun kind of element to it. Um, it's different. It's different. It's good and it's different. It just takes a lot of getting used to, just like it did with the demo. Uh, but after a couple of, after like two, three chapters, I'm sure it'll be like the norm. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to get, I'm going to hopefully bang these ones out a little bit quicker than anything else. So we've still got Life is Strange 2 to go through as well. We're just at the beginning of that. I was really enjoying that as well. And that's like full of the feels and stuff like that as well. So looking forward to getting back into that. Guys, I'm back on Mixer. Go and check that out. Um, so Far Cry 5, early hours of the morning. That's usually when I'm on. Um, the webcam is now hooked up to the Xbox. So that means that I can... Ooh, there was an orb. Did you see that? <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's now hooked up to the Xbox. So I do have a camera for Mixer as well, which is cool. Um, not on there very often, and I don't really interact too much on there. It's just sort of, I may as well just show you my chill time. That's all that's really there for at the moment. Um, so yeah, get a jump on that. Merch store's still open if you want to get your merch. And as always at the moment, because we are still in lockdown here in the UK, um, stay safe. If you like the video, come cock your leg and mark your territory on the like button. I'm grateful for any of the support you get. So thanks guys for dropping in the comments and everything lately. And um, everyone really liked the Jurassic, the, the Jurassic World Evolution uh, video that went up the other day. So thank you for your support there. If you do like what you've seen and you want to see more, come and, come and join the pack. Come and give me a subscribe. There's a button to do so at the end of the video. So guys, I'm going to be back in the next video. And why am I going to be back? Because gamers never die, they just respawn. See you next time, guys.
you fucker. <laughs>